You had a splashy entrance into the race, but since then it seems as though you've been struggling to gain support. What do you think went wrong and, and what are you going to do to try to fix it? Look, we've got a, a ways to go to be able to meet everybody, bring folks into this campaign and make them aware of why this is the election of our lifetime. So if, if I were to rely on polls right now, it would be as though um, that was going to decide the future of not just our race, but the country. And we can't allow that to happen. I've never relied on polls running for Congress, running that race in Texas for the United States Senate. I won't rely on them now. And as president, I won't rely on polls to do what is right. So we're going to continue to show up for everyone everywhere, bring them in and make sure we're up for the greatest challenges of this country's history. So you may know about this Pittsburgh father because he is being called a hero for really a simple act of kindness. Howie Dittman attended the Pittsburgh Pride Parade this month and he offered free hugs. And the response was overwhelming, more than 700 hugs in two and a half hours. And Howie Dittman is with me now. Howie, thank you so much for being here. Happy Father's Day to you, first no, of all. No, thank you, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So you were offering free dad hugs at the Pride Parade. Yes. Um, I want to show some of the pictures here, a couple of the pictures, because I want to get right to um, a couple of things you shared that really struck you. This picture of you with, with a woman, I think it was the first woman you said that came up to you. What was that, what was that like? What was that about? Well, I traveled down there with uh, my friend Denna Hayes, and she was with the organization uh, freemomhugs.org. And um, when I had seen her RSVP, on Facebook to the event, my first thought was, well, you know, if you had a hundred moms and a hundred dads uh, presented with a child that identified with this population, you know, my, my thought was, my assumption was that the moms overall would likely be more accepting, so possibly dad hugs could be even more needed. And um, so just grabbed the shirt online and went down with Denna and was, the parade hadn't started yet. Everything was, you know, a joyous festival and things like that. And I turned around and there's this young woman just with tears in her eyes and uh, she threw her arms around me and thanked me and thanked me and thanked me and you know obviously I wasn't going to be the one to let go first um, but that's when I realized that even though we headed down there to you know spread some joy and have some smiles and things like that that it was maybe going to turn out a little bit differently. So she was she was kind of tearing up when she saw you was it the the hugs from dad? Yeah, yeah. She told she told me even then that she was had been across the street and was just, you know, going about her day, having a good time. And she saw the shirt and ran across the street because she just instantly needed, you know, it, it threw a switch or, you know, what, however you want to phrase it. But it struck her, you know, from being in this joyous, again, this joyous festival kind of thing to, mm -hmm. um, you know, just needing needing a dad hug, I suppose.